Okay, what we have here is a Toyota Tundra V8. It's a 4.7 liter, um, another gas guzzler. Um, this is Billy's truck. Hey, Billy. How you know? Billy, how long have I known you? About 25 years. 25 years. We've been friends for a long time. Okay. Now, when you heard about me putting the hydrogen in the vehicle, you were a skeptic. Right. right now, I made a bet with you, right, that saying that uh, I can clean up your emissions, give you almost zero emissions, and give you better fuel mileage. You said, uh, I bet you $100, right? Yeah, the $100. All right, so, well, I'm going to take your money. First of all, here's the intake hose, right, going into uh, Billy's plenum of his intake and we're going to drill a hole right down in here now how we're going to find out is a little bit something different that nobody else does they pretty much take a good guess about you know what kind of fuel cell they need to put in and they have no idea well we've taken out all the guesswork and we're cooking it out with this fuel cell this fuel cell is too big for any vehicle but uh what we do is we control it with a pulse switch modulator right and we can put in the exact amount of hydrogen that we need, right, to get, you know, better fuel miles for the Philly and get them better emissions. And when we know, when we got it right, is we can breed off Philly's exhaust. So what we're going to do is we're going to show you how it goes. Take it on. We already loosened it down. Just to show you what this is one of the things to do. Hi, my name is Jim and I'm with HighPerformanceFuelCells.com and I'd like to thank you for watching our video. As the video plays, I'd like to tell you a little bit about our company. HighPerformanceFuelCells.com customizes in your hydrogen fuel cells needs. Our mission is to create jobs to protect the environment by reducing emissions that break down in the internal carbon buildup of your engine and providing you savings at the gas pump by increasing your gas mileage. We offer the best quality product that fits your budget. We will never sell anything to our customers that they don't need, can't afford, or don't want. While maintaining the integrity of our customers' vehicles that we ensure them the safe ride and reliable transportation within operating standards. We believe our customers are informed customers who come to us from trustworthy recommendations. We value our customers as we value our reputation. Do you know last year we spent $700 billion on foreign oil? This year we'll spend $1,400,000,000 on foreign oil. In the United States there are 3,143 counties. That's $450 million per county. Most counties don't even have that in their budget or payroll. And check this one out. $4,583.17 will be given to foreign oil from every man, woman, and child in the United States. Where do you draw your line? Stop and think about this. It's time to make a change. Wake up. Um, but I can't express more how much we need help in getting this out to the public. Um, I've been in construction for 15 years, building backs and docks, and I had a good, reputable business. Okay, um, the economy we went bad, things got the slow, and here. I figured out why. This Wait was for because the of foreign oil. Takes five minutes you know what I mean? Okay, we take so again. much money out of our country, building. and it's just taking away jobs. Nice and and so, um, if you're in construction and would like to get right back in foreign oil, you need to give me a call. Phone number is area code 813-789-0137. Seven. Now, okay, you got to remember, contractors the get the job done if they're the right people. Um, I've seen good here. and I've seen bad. I'm looking for the best of the best. Nothing more, nothing less. Um, if you ever notice, like, we'll go, we'll give the customer a bid, you know what I mean? They'll accept our bid, we'll give us a half down the pay deposit, we'll go out, we'll get the material, build what we need to build, install it. Um, Get done with the job, make the customer happy and satisfied, get paid, go home to a wife and family, get the job well done. Next in line. And we do this day in, day out. When there's a disaster that goes on in our country, who's the first ones to go and pack up their and running out there to help them? Afraid, we I don't are. even know you're a friend of Billy's. So when it comes Billy down to getting like anything it. done in this country, it takes the backbone. Better and the awesome. backbone is the people okay, who built this like normal, smelly That's thing. all of us. Electricians, plumbers, carpenters, 
masons, as you can see, here we go. all you guys, if you got Making mechanical little, skills, right, yeah, you know anything about running, this, fan please running. give me a call. Because okay. we can really and we're at a low problem. setting right now. Thank so you. we start Billy off low. May God bless. Let it run for five minutes. I'll start back with Okay, the back again. Five minutes have gone up. All right, Billy, why don't you go back there and smell your dog? man. Well, a little bit cleaner than it was before. Okay, so we'll turn it over here. See your production's picking up. I just heard the truck idle down too, did you? Yeah. Okay. Wait okay. another five minutes, back again. Okay, Billy, go back and smell your exhaust. Wow, it almost smells like it's straight steam coming out of there. Smell that, Billy. Damn. All right, you think we're at it, or you think we need a little more? A little bit more. A little bit more, be even more. All right, so we'll go back over here again. We're gonna turn it up another notch. Okay, look at our production picking up. I can actually start seeing steam coming out of your exhaust. Smells like water. Doesn't even smell like exhaust. Can I get my $100 now? Get out of your $100. Cough it up. Cough it up, baby. There's the steam already. Look at that water coming water out of the tailpipe. See that? Water coming right out. Yep. Yeah. 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 You can see. Yeah. All right. Back again. We waited another five minutes. Now I'm going to double up on the high power here. Second, we set that other frequency and see if it made a bigger difference. Yeah, it's more like water almost. Water almost, yeah. we get a little bit more, you think? Turn it up a little bit more. Tiny bit. And I'm going to tweak my frequency tuner. And then I'm going to change my frequency. To number two right, setting. Back again, Billy's gonna go smell his exhaust to see if we got any more cleaner than what it was. I think we're probably right yeah, there. A little like pure water. We need all that water. There's some water. Look at Billy's hands. All the way. See all that water? Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep. One, two, three. And this is on number six. And it's on a high frequency. That's what matches the dials on there. What would happen is when Billy would go do his test install for the customer, he would send me back these numbers and I know exactly what size fuel cell to build it. And then after that, he'll write down how many volts the system is drawing. Right? So the system's drawing volts. about nine volts. Right? And then we check the amps before, we're right at six amps. Okay, that's all the information that I need, right, from our installers to build them the correct fuel cell that they need what to get. What we did done. was, in that 10 minutes, we left the cup down there too to collect the condensation that was dripping from the tailpipe. It smells like straight steam. It smells like straight steam. What does it smell like to you, Freddy? Hey, Freddie, look, Billy told me that you've been known for eating bugs and lizards and stuff like that if people pay you. I'll pay you five bucks to drink that water. Serious? I'll give you five bucks to drink that water. Look at it, it's clean in there. Pick up the cup. Look at that. Clean water. Some dripping in there. Come on, five bucks. Just like exhaust, but it's all right. Tastes a little bit exhausty. Yeah, but it's clean water, right? Oh, yeah, it's clean. There you go. Raise the man. <laughs> but it's drinkable water. If you had to survive, you could live off your exhaust, right? That's There we go. <laughs> All right, Freddie, thank you, thank you.